In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the Combozon WordPress plugin. And I'm also going to show you how to install it on your site, set up the initial settings, and uh, also walk you through just a couple of other initial details that you need to know to get your plugin running. Um, on the Combozon website, just enter in your login information to get started. This will take you to the membership area. Down here, you have your choice of the different editions. Click on the WordPress plugin. On this page, there's a link here to download the plugin. Once you've clicked on this link and downloaded the plugin to your computer, you'll want to go into your WordPress site. Over here on the left hand sidebar, look for plugins. Click on the Add New button. Look for the upload link at the top. Click on the browse button here. Search for the file that you've downloaded. Once you've installed the plugin, just click on the activate link. After that, you can see Combazon shows up here in the sidebar. Just click on it to get started with the Combazon plugin setup. Uh, the first step, all you have to do here is enter in your Amazon product advertising API keys. Um, if you're not sure how to get those, uh, take a look in the plugin guidebook. I also have a video on my YouTube channel how to do that. So here I'm just going to punch in my API key and secret key. Step two, all you have to do is enter in your Amazon affiliate ID and the Amazon country that you want to use. Now your affiliate ID here should match the country that you've selected. So obviously if you're selecting Amazon UK, make sure you enter in the affiliate ID that you use for uh, Amazon UK. After you've done that, the plugin is completely set up and ready to go. You can actually go and start building ads now if you want to. Um, I'm just going to go to the settings page here for one second and show you just a couple of last options here that we're not in the setup process but are available to you. Um, when you're designing your ads you're gonna have a price label and text for your buy button. Those cannot be customized from the, um, the ad. Well the price label cannot be customized from the ad. So you will want to go ahead and set that here if you want it to be something other than package price. Uh, the buy button text, that's set to check out with Amazon. You can change that if you want to. However, this you actually will be able to edit this within each ad if you want to make a customized buy button. Uh, this is just a uh, default setting. Last and certainly not least down here, this is your CSS coding. This is what controls how the ads look, how they're displayed on your site, um, text sizes, colors, the whole nine yards. You do not have to mess with this. 99% of people won't even want to touch this at all. This is actually generated by the style system. So if you go to the style system and you publish an ad, then it will update the CSS code here. However, if you happen to want to you know, tweak it a little bit, change a couple of settings, publish your style first, then come back here and edit your CSS code. Save your changes, you're good to go.